we've already got two hatches of Catawba worms on this tree. You see the second hatch? They must have first hatched out on that leaf. Look, they made it look like a skeleton, like lace. And then they're spreading out, and as they get bigger, they eat more of the leaf. They're everywhere. We got some big ones that are just out of reach. I'm going to have to figure something out. There's a bunch of big ones up there. This is the original black and chartreuse bait. Catalpa worm or Catalpa worm, depending on where you're from. It's a type of sphinx moth or hummingbird moth that only feeds on the Catalpa tree. So if you can find the tree, not every tree has them, but if you can find them, they'll usually be there every year. They'll have two, three hatches in the summer. Looks like we're on track to have several hatches because we it's only early June and we already got two hatches. So that's better than it usually is. Look how much lighter that one is. I don't know why. Most of them look like this. Yes, it's a type of hornworm. They're related to the green hornworms that eat your tomato plants. Same family. Well, we climbed up here. Can reach a lot more worms up this way. All right, we're gonna put this in the fridge to let them cool down because they are aggravated right now. That'll slow them down so we can pick one out without five of them trying to climb out. Check out this shot shell bobber. Some people will flip these inside out so the guts are on the outside. I'll just go in behind the head and run the hook about halfway down, maybe a little more than that, run it most of the way down. Something's taking it. Looks like a bluegill. Yeah, that's a small fish. They yeah, always stole the bait. Can't tell if it's the current or if I got the fish on. Oh, oh. We hung up. Oh, come on. I thought I had something. Well, there she goes. Maybe that bobber will come back. Maybe not. Okay, I've got a couple split shot in a hook. Got rid of the bobber. We're gonna try a different spot though. And we're gonna fish off the bottom. Got nice little slack water here. It's actually flowing back up river a little bit. We're gonna throw it into the slack water, fish off the bottom, and wait for a bite. 
Turn that drag down so it clicks. I might take my little brim rod here and rig it up with a small bobber so we can fish two lines at once. There's a fish on that one. No, oh, I may have just missed that. Nope. Yep, I missed it, didn't I? Dang it. We still got, well, part of the bait. We'll throw another one on there. We're already getting bit on the bottom rig. I just put it back out. We got one. What do we got? The smallest of fiddler cats. Look at that baby channel cat. We're gonna eat him. Won't be much fillets, but it's better than nothing. Hopefully we catch a couple more. Look at the speckles on that thing. Got someone coming up the river. It might be cows. All right, let's put this bait back out there. Man, she's running good. You really put some weird. sea foam in that. Hey, I'm getting another fish. Oh yeah, you are. Hey, this is a big gar hole here. Is it? They're not staying on top. They're just tipping. Yeah, I might be on another fish. That's the first one I've caught. Hell yeah, that's good timing right there. Uh, whatever keeps biting me out in the middle, I, I can't hook it. They're just playing with it. I was like, I'm not about to be without a bow. Getting bites on both lines. Just a little nips. Not sure which one I need to pick up. Yeah, that one on the right's getting messed with a little more. bite has been real slow and we don't have enough fish to cook up yet so we're gonna go we tried to go up river but uh this is jet boat territory so we're gonna go down and see if we can find another little hole catch a couple more catfish <laughs> Yeah, 25 will push that, no problem. We'll put this bobber out here. Oh, a jet ski. Something's, something's really on this bottom rig. This might be a good little spot. Come 
Come on, eat it. We on him. This might be an eater. That's a channel cat. He's doing the death roll. I ain't even seen him yet. That's dinner. Oh yeah, they're in here. That didn't take long. On the catapa worm. Talk to me. Say your last words. Backwaters is where it's at. This what is, happened? I got something going on here. Look at this. Oh, you got the uh, flexible rod. Yeah. That's the foldable type for like we gotta storage. Be, yeah, you got to be careful with those limb brim. You see, I got one on right now. That's a jumbo if you can get that one in. See how it bends the rod? That's how you know you got a good one on. Yeah. Yeah, when that's... Bends, when it bends the rod like that? That's that's a next level. I think this thing probably weighs about 2,000 pounds. I'd, get, I'd say that's just out of reach too. I know it. We get it with the boats later. That sucks about your rod. All right, we don't got much, but we got something. Enough for a couple sandwiches. It's a little guy. This is a whole fryer, but we're making sandwiches, so we're gonna knock off right whole. Turtle food. There's our fillets. Caught a long ear sunfish on my ultralight. We got the head. Kelsey's gonna throw it out here. Sling it. And I would just let the current take it down, see if something picks it up. Yeah, let it have a little line. Might get a little bit bigger fish. There's a little bit here and there. There's some here. Yeah, I think the storm's kind of left some fresh yeah, wood in camp. Cool.
doubled up on the cheese. Oh yeah. Good call. Hot catfish, mustard, and cheese. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it right there. That'll work. Oh yeah. Good work there. Mmm. Cheers. Boom.